this time, we're going to be taking a look at some of the incredibly flexible editing tools and functions that we have at the audio clip level. Bitwig Studio mixes many of the best editing features of the bigger DAWs with non-linear editing and arrangement functions. Now without further wait, let's dive right in. Bitwig uses the very familiar logic and Cubase style of audio editing inside of audio clips. It uses the traditional toolkit of a bigger DAW, each tool being locked to a key command for easy access. It's a good idea to commit those commands to memory for maximum speed and agility when you're working. Let's quickly get acquainted with the tools as we will be using them quite a bit. The first is the object selection tool, which is accessed by pressing number one on your keypad. This is a general selection tool. The next is the time selection tool, accessed by pressing two. And this allows you to select ranges, including blank areas, and perform a variety of functions. The third is the pen tool, accessed by pressing three. This allows you to draw data in. The fourth is the eraser tool, accessed by pressing 4, and obviously this allows you to erase data. The knife tool is accessed by pressing 5 on your keyboard, and it allows you to cut up sections. We'll go into more on how each one works as we go along. Once we have a clip in our project, we can bring up the editor for it by hitting the E key. Since we have the ability to do full screen editing with the edit view, we might as well go there. When we're dealing with scrolling and resizing, this may be one of the navigation trip-ups for many who have just started to use Bitwig. When using a trackpad, you can use the left and right scroll to move left and right. When you hover over the timeline for the clip, a magnifying glass appears. This can be used to zoom in and out. Just like with most of the navigation in Bitwig, scrolling and resizing have key commands bound to them as well. Zooming in and out, is accessed by holding down Control and Option and scrolling up and down. Scrolling left and right is accessed by holding down Option and scrolling up and down. Zooming takes place precisely where the cursor is focused, so it makes it very easy to get exactly to the right part of the clip quickly. Let's look at the grid resolution settings. First, we have the adaptive grid, which changes the resolution as you zoom in and out. This can also be disabled to lock to a specific resolution if you wish. Here's where you set the grid resolution, and this can be set to different divisions, including triplets and dotted values. Snapping on a grid is very similar to how it functions in Logic, and a variety of snap settings are available. Absolute snapping snaps directly to the beat grid lines. Relative snapping works in a different way in that it will estimate which grid line may be the closest to your destination. It will suggest grid lines that are close, but you can always go beyond and Snap to Object snaps events or clips to the start of other events or clips. If you make a selection and would like to loop it quickly, you can do this by using Command L. Audio can also be resized inside of a clip and be moved around as well. In the world of Bitwig Studio, this single object is referred to as an event. A clip can contain multiple events. Let's go deeper into clip editing. Clips can be edited through several different views. For this example, we will be utilizing the tools that are available to perform some of the functions. One of the main tools that we will use first will be the pen tool. The pen tool enters data freely and unquantized as you draw it. Holding down the option key allows you to draw in stepped automation or changes. An audio clip can be thought of as a container in Bitwig Studio, as it can contain multiple events and areas of silence. Events can be copied and repeated in a clip. Here's the view where we would generally do chopping and cutting, and we're going to use the knife tool. Pieces of an event can be erased by using the eraser tool, and entire ranges can be moved around using the time selection tool. This also will account for blank areas, which are highlighted as well. In the gain section, you are allowed to view the gain levels for each event. When changes are made, the display updates and shows the volume changes that you have made in the event itself. Using the pen tool, we can both free draw and use stepped automation changes. The pan section allows you to control the panning for each event. And again, using the pen allows us to either draw in our information freely or use stepped automation.
In the pitch section, you can control the pitch for each event as well. Here you see the range that can be adjusted in semitones. By default, Snap to Semitones is engaged, but it can be disabled by the button in the top left. We'll use the pen tool to draw in some free and stepped automation changes on pitch. Onsets are essentially bitwig speak for slice markers or transients. Onsets can be moved and deleted in this view. Holding shift will disable snapping so you can get finer resolution to your edits. The stretch section allows you to stretch events individually within a clip. Time stretch indication shows up on the bottom left and right of each clip when you're in this view. I want to talk a second about the time stretch that's contained within Bitwig. While most of the other major DAWs are using the same licensed time stretch algorithms, Bitwig wrote their own custom algorithm that produces much higher quality results than the others that are available. Multiple events can be edited at the same time from the inspector. It might be easier or more convenient to perform some of the desired edits from here. Using the inspector allows you to mute multiple events, adjust the range of multiple events, set fades for in and out, which is very useful for micro-editing We have multiple short slices being repeated or duplicated. The in and out can be set independently. Looking at the stretch mode, you have a few selections. The normal stretch mode, HD, which is a higher definition version of the normal stretch, RAW, which allows audio to be manipulated in its raw state with no time stretching applied, and re-pitch, which will transpose the clip so that it matches the BPM of the current song. The onsets preserve function, which is useful for percussive or rhythmic loops, as it preserves the attack to keep the hits sharp and tight. You can also just preview the onsets themselves. The gain section allows you to add or subtract the gain by individual dB or by increments of six. Pan allows you to adjust the panning for an individual or multiple events. Pitch allows you to add or subtract the transpose setting by individual semitones or by increments of 12. Reverse allows you to reverse an individual or multiple events. And quite possibly one of the coolest features to exist in a list of editing features is the split at onsets. This is a popular feature that has existed on many of the bigger DAWs for many years, but Bitwig's twist on it is that you can do it inside an audio clip. This is very useful as there may be many editing functions that you would want to perform on just individual parts of a clip, such as reversing, time stretching, pitch transposition, panning, or gain changes. Here's a quick example of using all of these editing features on a clip that has been split at the onsets. So as you can see, Bitwig takes a lot of the really advanced and powerful editing features that we have already come to know and use in existing DAWs. More importantly, it combines them all in one easy to understand way that will seamlessly integrate into your existing workflow. For more information about our courses in New York, Los Angeles, and online, check out www.dubspot.com. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online, wherever you are, and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.